worked. Let's undo it. They're back again. Let's undo that. They're gone again. Here they are. Now they're gone. Now this is not easy to remember. One time we have to um, write the affected range afterwards and one time we have to write the affected range range previously hmm or in front of actually there is a reasoning to why it is like that but you have to be a bit into the command syntax there is an entire syntax this is actually a way of forming uh, small um, macros macros that uh, can actually transform your text using very few command characters to accomplish rather vast transformations of your text. I mean, this deletes five lines. 5DD and it's done. It's not easy to find a shorter way to write this down, right? If you think about it. And that's what the command syntax is all about. Be as short as possible. Um, yeah, be as short as possible. Why is that? Why be as short as possible? Because once you have managed to learn this stuff and really um, memorize stuff like this every day, um, deletion, copy and uh, pasta operations, um, you don't want to be, um, let's say, obstructed by cumbersome, uh, long, complicated ways of accomplishing this. You just remember these rather short commands and you can type them in very fast. Remember that the classic uh, VI user uh, can switch between insert and command mode very fast. So I can, for example, insert this and that and immediately go out and delete that again. And hey, I want this there and uh, now I'm back in insert mode and yeah and then hey let's comment this out oh an error the cursor key doesn't work ha huh, I really should only navigate in command mode uh, cursor keys are unreliable really still after all these years cursor keys are unreliable and not only on the Macintosh computer <laughs> okay um, I think that um, this is enough as a uh, um, short introduction into um, everyday routine operations that can be done in the command mode. Delete word-wise, um, undo stuff. Um, by the way, I think it's really time I show you uh, the full-blown VI Improve program, because there, although it looks a bit different, you have syntax highlighting, which you, by the way, can also turn off, making it a look, a bit, look a bit more like classic VI. Now there, you have many steps of undo really many a lot of them you can actually mess up the entire file and undo it all step by step this is all done using the u key u is undo p is paste this is delete five lines This is young, uh, copy, current line, 
this is young Kobe two words forward this is huh delete two words forward now I'm using a bit more <laughs> For example, what I just did is I yanked everything un until the end of the line. Yeah, I can do that too. This is done by using stupid cursor keys. By using yank dollar sign. Yank dollar sign. Dollar sign is usually the last of, in this case, the last character of the line. Um, Let's try this again. I'm going here and I type Y in dollar. Now I'm going here and I type P for pasta. Hey, and there it is, the remainder of the line that I just yanked. But this is too much, so I type X to delete the character under the cursor. Very useful. Huh, but it's still not right. So I type delete dollar delete delete dollar until end of line. And now I'm typing B move backwards. That's backwards, word-wise backwards. And now I want this. Yank dollar. And I insert it here. And now I have here, delete until end of line. Now I have written a small compendium about very basic operations in command mode of VI in VI using the command mode of VI that uh, I think shows that VI can be used to document itself in a way <laughs> um, okay so now I think um, mm, this is some pretty complicated stuff that you should really exercise a little so um, I will make a short break here. Uh, see you soon.